Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss plasmolysis and deplasmolysis. Now first let us begin with the plasmolysis. When a living plant cell loses its water through exosmosis, When it is placed in hypertonic solution, there is a shrinkage. We can see that there is a shrinkage or contraction of the protoplasm away from the cell wall. And this phenomenon is called and this phenomenon is called plasmolysis. Now look at this diagram here. So this is how the protoplasm is moving away from the cell when there is the osmotic exit of water outside the cell takes place. So this is happens when a plant cell is placed in hypertonic solution and we are calling this process as plasmolysis. But for animal cells we are calling it as crenation. And when this plasmolyzed cell is placed in hypotonic solution, when this plasmolyzed cell is placed in hypotonic solution, it swells up. And this process of swelling up of plasmolysis cell when it is placed in hypotonic solution is called as deplasmolysis. Now let me write here the definition of deplasmolysis. If you plasmolyze the cell, is again kept in hypotonic solution it will again gain water due to endosmosis. And cell would become turgid So, this phenomenon is called as This phenomenon is called deplasmolysis. Now, see here it is due to endosmosis, and here it is due to exosmosis. Right. So, now, so let me write here. When RBC is placed in hypotonic solution, 
what happens? RBC is burst after some time and we call this process as hemolysis. When the RBC is placed in hypertonic solution, RBC shrinks and we call this process as crenation. When the RBC is placed in Ringer's solution, the size would be normal. Now, can you guess what type of solution is Ringer's solution? It is a type of isotonic solution. Here now let me write one example. If a fresh water plant is uh, transferred to marine water what will happen will it survive no it dies it dies due to exosmosis that is here the blastomolysis takes place because it was a freshwater aquatic plant when it is shifted to the marine water exosmosis takes place in the plant body because the solvent is more in each and every cell of the plant body and in the marine water solute salt is more so that it results in exosmosis and finally it leads to the death of the plant and we call this process plasmolysis. And let us take one more example. Bacteria do not survive in salted pickles because they get plasmolized. Sir, how come it is possible there are animal cells but you are talking about plasmolysis of bacteria in the salted pickles. Yes, it is plasmolysis only. In bacteria, cell wall is present. So, when it is in the salted pickles, the exosmosis takes place. So, this results in the bacteria die. This is about plasmolysis deplasmolysis and plasmolysis examples